Welcome to the webinar, everyone, and good afternoon. I'm Kara Rajapaksa, the Partner Development Team Lead at OnPay, and I am so excited to have you join us today. Almost two years ago, we partnered with Vestwell, a digital retirement plan platform, to make it easier for OnPay clients to offer and administer 401ks. Since we partnered with Vestwell, we've been able to automate a traditionally cumbersome process and save our clients time and hassle. But let's take a look at the next slide. Let's take a look at our agenda today because there are other aspects of 401ks that can get confusing or time consuming, especially in the small plan market. So today, if we take a look at our agenda, you're gonna walk away with answers to the following questions and more. Why should companies even offer a 401k? And hey, what is a 401k anyways? What type of plans are right for what types of companies? And then finally, how does the company go about implementing a 401k plan? How can Vestwell and OnPay potentially make it easier for me? Now let's go to the next slide here. Before we introduce your presenters, let's do some quick housekeeping. This session is being recorded, so we'll be sure to send you that recording along with a recap in case you'd like to share with anyone else on your team. And I do want to emphasize this especially, do not be afraid to ask questions. We want the session to be as interactive as possible. So in the questions section of GoToWebinar, ask away. Let's test the section out together now. Go ahead and let us know in the questions panel, where are you dialing in from? I know I'm dialing in from Atlanta, Georgia, um, and then our presenters can tell you where they're dialing in from as well. And then um, one of our presenters, I think, is uh, kind of moving the slides there. If you could move to the next slide maybe paused on your side. Oh, we've got someone dialing in from Chicago, very nice. So I'm representing the South, we've got the Midwest represented so far, so don't be afraid, let us know, that's where you'll go to ask questions. Houston, Maryland, oh wow, really diverse audience today. So let's take a look at the next slide, let's meet your presenters. We are joined today by Allison Brecker and Josh Forstatter from Vestwell. Allison is the General Counsel and Chief Compliance Officer of Vestwell, where she leads the legal and compliance program for all of Vestwell's operations. She also handles privacy-related matters for the company, and Allison has really focused her practice on ERISA. So if you know that, add it in the comments or questions there if you know what that stands for, you know, uh, pop quiz today. She also focuses on employee benefits and data privacy for more than 20 years. So Allison, if you just want to say a quick hi to the audience. Great. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope this is um, super informative for you. We love when our audience engages with us and asks questions. Um, so we're going to be presenting quite a bit of information. So if you put it into the questions panel off to the right, we will leave it in as best we can. And if we are unable to get to something, um, we will definitely follow up with you afterwards. Absolutely. And Josh is the SVP of Partnerships, where he works with companies like OnPay to bring smart solutions to their clients. He is also a CFA and MBA with experience in sales strategy with finance roles across fintech and financial services. So Josh, if you want to chime in, say a quick hello. Nice to meet everybody, and I look forward to a great conversation. Perfect. Without further ado, Allison, I'll turn it over to you to kick things off. Okay, super. So um, again, if anyone has questions, please, by all means, put it into the questions panel. Um, I'm sure the question you all might be asking is, you know, why on earth would I even set up a 401k, maybe especially, you know, in these uncertain times? Um, Josh, can you move the slides ahead? So just to sort of level set and, and set the stage, you know, retirement is super important. I know it may not seem like that right now and that may not be your top priority but keep in mind you know these are this this is the world that we live in that the vast majority of pers of Americans who um, are, are employed right now do not have access to a um, workplace retirement plan which means that their only place to save for retirement and to be able to retire in the first place really comes from personal savings. We also know from government studies that those savings are completely inadequate to fund any kind of company retire, uh, I'm sorry, comfortable retirement. So that's where 401ks come in to sort of fill the gap. Josh, we can move ahead. So a 401k plan and any kind of workplace retirement plan really benefits everyone. For employers, those of you in the audience, 
um, there are some fairly significant tax credits that come into play starting um, that started uh, this past January, and it's not too late to claim those even if you start your plan next year. Um, for example, under the SECURE Act, which went into effect in December 2019, you get a up to a $5,000 tax credit for each of the first three years with an additional $500 for each of those years if you're new, if you are starting a new plan and it has an auto enroll provision. We'll get to what auto enroll means in a moment, but just understand that this is a tax credit and it's in addition to all of the other kinds of expenses that are tax deductible. So for some companies, <coughs> excuse me, this can be a pretty significant um, you know, savings. In fact, as we'll show you later on, you may be able to deduct all of the expenses of starting a retirement plan with Vestwell. It also helps with hiring and retention. Um, again, that may not be top of mind right now, but it certainly will be um, after the pandemic subsides and life returns a little bit to normal. It's very expensive to lose people, to hire, to retrain, to have that sort of open time period. And most importantly for employers and employees, a 401k plan helps people retire and it helps people achieve their goals and collect some tax benefits um, on the employee side at the same time as well. Josh, we can move ahead. So what does it take to get started? Um, first, let me just sort of um, set a few um, term uh, some terminology that not all of you may be familiar with about really who's who in a 401k plan and what does Vestwell do and where do we fit in? So a, a 401k plan really starts with the plan sponsor. That's you in the audience, the employer who wants to sponsor an employer, uh, I'm sorry, a workplace retirement plan. A record keeper, which is what Vestwell does, we track all of your individual account contributions. Um, we apply them to um, however the uh, participants, your employees want to direct their investments. So if they want to invest in a target date fund, in a model strategy, whatever the case might be, we, that's what a record keeper does. Make sure that investments are directed as the participant wants them to be. We also host a st streamlined platform for those of you not familiar with the Vestwell platform. It's a highly intuitive streamlined system, very different than what you may be thinking of um, with many of your banks or, or other providers where you kind of get to a website and it's filled with legalese and voluminous documents and things like that. And I'm one of the lawyers that used to draft those kind of documents. So I say that somewhat facetiously, but we really strive to create an intuitive kind of plain English website. We also serve as the third party administrator so that we handle a pretty much all of the plan activities like annual compliance testing to make sure that the plan can get the tax deductions that the employer was counting on. Um, we also oversee a custodian and trustee. That's basically the bank, if you wanna think of it that way, that holds plan assets and executes the trades and investment instructions that the participants um, want to do for their account. And we can also serve as the plan's investment manager. So that means sorting through the thousands or tens of thousands of different ETFs um, and other um, investment options for the plan to create a low cost diversified lineup. And then we work with the um, with the payroll providers like OnPay to ingest all of the payrolls and, and that come in on a biweekly or weekly basis. And we apply them to each participant's account, again, according to their directions. We can move on to the next slide. So when you evaluate potential partners for your 401k plan, there's lots of different things that you should keep in mind. It may sound pretty simple to start a 401k plan. Um, for those of you not familiar with the process, you may just think of it as like going to a bank and opening up an account and what's the big deal. There actually are a lot of things that go into running a 401k plan. It's actually one of the most highly regulated um, tax deductions and, and investment vehicles in the country. And for that reason, whoever you select as your partner for your 401k plan really needs to make sure that you have your compliance requirements completely in check. Um, so the plan sponsor under 
law and the governing laws called ERISA, the Employee Retirement Income and Security Act, according to ERISA and various tax code provisions, you need to make sure that your business partner for your plan is operating the plan consistently with all of those statutes. I've been practicing in this area for more than 20 years and I can tell you that it is extremely complicated. So you need to just make sure that they have a compliance audit, that they understand um, how payroll uh, files are going to be processed, that they do so according to um, various regulations for, with regard to depositing contributions on certain timelines, a whole host of other things, and we're happy to provide more information. Of course, a plan holds a lot of sensitive information, as you can imagine, social security numbers, dates of birth, people's home addresses, all of that data is very valuable to some people. So you need to make sure that your provider has the right security protocols in place, that they'll stand behind their procedures. You may want to ask them about their insurance coverage so that in the event there is some kind of a data breach that they have, that they could stand behind their work and not leave you dry. Last but not least on fees. This is another really important area. A lot of record keepers have gotten themselves into some hot water for charging what the law considers to be excessive fees. Um, there really is no black and white rule around what's excessive and what's reasonable, but here are some you know, tips and advice for you to get started as you evaluate those. Um, and again, we're happy to provide more information at any time if you need it. You can move on, Josh. So there's lots of different kinds of retirement plans. We're only showing some of those here. Um, and really the, the fit for you is kind of determined by who are your employees. So for example, um, a medical practice. When you think of who's in the medical practice, you have highly paid workers, um, those who earn over $130,000 a year, and that number is indexed each year for inflation. Um, when you have a number of highly paid workers and non-highly paid, you need to make sure that your plan is providing a fair cross-section of your benefits to each of those groups. And so a safe harbor plan allows you to bypass some of those compliance rules. Um, but of course there are there's always a catch you know under the law you get a tax deduction and a tax credit but you have to also do something so the business owner can maximize their contributions but also has to make a deposit to the plan in the form of an employer match so i won't read these word for word but just to highlight a couple of things here that if you have if you're the kind of business that has um, a certain group of employees that perhaps are managerial or who have been with the company for a long time and for whatever reason you may want to treat them differently under your plan than you treat other employees, you might be a good fit for a profit sharing plan, for example. Um, and again, it's way too long to go into detail here in this presentation, but we're happy to give you more information about any of these and customize a plan that might be, you know, that would be the best fit for your company. Okay, Josh, we can move on. And it all boils down to really asking the right questions. Um, you know, take a look at your demographics. And one of the values that Vestwell brings to the table is that unlike a number of different providers, we actually provide a lot of consultation right up front at no additional charge. We'll analyze your workforce, your um, payroll demographics, um, and we'll talk to you about who should be able to participate in your plan. Maybe there's maybe you don't want every employee to participate, but maybe there are certain plan features that you want to use in order to re attract and retain your employees. For example, maybe you want to do that through an employer contribution. You may want to permit rollovers into the um, into the plan so that again people can kind of aggregate and consolidate all of their retirement accounts. Maybe you want to allow them to be able to take loans in the event of an emergency. Um, there's all other different, like I said, factors here that you want to be considerate of, um, as well as selecting the investment lineup, and we can help you with that as well. So lots of different questions to ask. Again, I know that we don't have time to go through all of the fine points here, but this is where our consultations really come in handy. 
so that you can make sure that you set up the plan that really is the best fit for your workforce and that you really understand the time commitment um, that's going to be needed. Well so said, I'll and Allison, we, oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> well, I was just going to turn it over to my colleague, Josh, because he would love to talk about how to, you know, execute an effective plan. But if you had a question first, Erin, by all means. Oh, absolutely. Sorry. I just, we have our first question of the day, and then we'll make sure to pause after Josh is speaking as well to take more questions. Um, why is now a good time to start a 401k plan? Uh, the person said, I'm thinking about it, but with all the COVID stuff going on, I'm not so sure. Yeah, sure. Well, really, um, again, like I was alluding to before, I fully realize there are bigger things going on right now than retirement plans. But once life does resume back to some sense of normalcy, people will start paying attention to wanting to retire. Um, and how do they retire? And like we were talking about before, Erin, um, a retirement plan, unlike any other, really allows, first of all, the employer to take advantage of tax credits, tax deductions um, that could actually be pretty significant. Um, again, all different kinds of expenses. And again, if anyone's interested in connecting with us, we can show you how Vestwell's um, record keeping fees and whatnot could really almost entirely be tax deductible. So it's a great way for employers to really attract and retain their talent. But from the employee perspective, it's also a terrific vehicle, vehicle as well. Um, we have some great um, graphics and whatnot that we can make available about the value of compounding interest and pre-tax savings and things of that nature um, that really do add up um, and astonishingly quickly and can really set yourself up for you know, a really comfortable retirement because every dollar that you spend on fees and whatnot really does erode on your investment performance. So if you're looking for a low cost, reasonable, you know, having a diversified lineup, but with a lower cost provider, that can immediately translate into more money into your employees' pockets in the form of their retirement savings. Thanks, Allison. Um, so why don't we switch gears um, and shift focus into how to execute an effective plan? Obviously, there's a lot to think about, uh, when you're purchasing one and, and questions like safe harbor, but administering it is also um, something to really focus in on and how your partner on the record keeping and the third party administration side can really make things easy for you. Uh, we like to think that from your standpoint as an employer, there's really six things you need to think about when you're selecting a provider and really administering your plan. The first is onboarding. How do you make it easy and how do you make ensure that your needs and goals and objectives are met in terms of what's critical for your demographic and plan? And how do you make sure that you're not on the phone a million times with your partner uh, to get it done? On the payroll side, that's one of the most important and critical areas. Oftentimes, we forget when we think about 401k as a participant, at the end of the day, there needs to be some instruction on how the money gets into the 401k system. And that's done by connecting on pay to vast wealth. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Third is the administration side. That's stuff like how do loans get administered if somebody unfortunately needs to take money out of their 401k or if the filing of tax forms like the 5500. Uh, these, are, these are critical things to really run the plan effectively and they're requirements of the sponsor. So you want to have an administrator who makes life easy there. Third, Engagement, engagement, and engagement. What's it matter if you have a 401k plan if nobody participates? So you really want to be looking at, is this a really positive experience to get people to log in easily for a digital experience if they're somebody who likes that? And then furthermore, can they engage uh, if, if you have older folks or folks who like to use the mail as well? Uh, fifth, testing. Testing, right, is critical insofar as the IRS and the DOL require plans to not discriminate against uh, lower compensated or older employees. And so it's critical to have a process that works with you and can achieve your goals. And that's especially true if you're trying to put away profit sharing to compensate the owners and highly compensated employees uh, through, the, uh, through the plan. And then finally, monitoring and reporting. Um, one of the most critical things 
um, that Allison and I talk a lot about is monitoring. And that comes on the investment side. It's really important to try to avoid conflicts of interest um, that come from hiring a retirement plan provider that might be selling an insurance product or a fund. Um, and so it's really critical as a sponsor to really understand that and know how to get independent advice because at the end of the day, it's not a lot of fun to be in some sort of litigation or some sort of suit. And you do that by ensuring independence and ensuring uh, you remove conflicts of interest. So, you know, when we take those six things and we boil them down, here's really what it comes down to in terms of your responsibilities. When you onboard a 401k plan, I'd like to say it's like onboarding a brokerage account. Unfortunately, it's not. But what we can do is, is through Vestwell's technology and any other great provider you get, you want a really good onboarding experience that simplifies things from a service perspective and then also walks you through the process in a really easy to understand real-time way. And so you'll do that once. Typically, plans don't move more than every five or so years, um, but certainly you want to be benchmarking your fees on an ongoing basis. Second, uh, administration. We do health checks four times a year, and that's what most providers do. I would just be cognizant of how much responsibility um, is your administrator taking? And furthermore, are they acting as a fiduciary in your best interest when they're doing that? That's something that we pride ourselves on. Under ERISA, we act as a fiduciary administrator. And as a result, we can actually approve and review your plans working great and effectively outsource that role for HR. Uh, but not everybody can do that. So it's a good question to ask. Um, next, testing, right? I talked about how important that was earlier. Um, as well as loans and hardships. Um, but finally, the big dog, payroll. Uh, as you guys know, one of the most critical parts is getting payroll through the system uh, from your on-pay or ADP system over to the retirement plan provider, whether it's Vestwell or Fidelity or anybody else. And so what we've done at Vestwell and OnPay is really looked at how to streamline that process. We think this is so critical in removing friction points that we've really tried to transform it. So what I wanna show you is a quick depiction of what we've done together and why I think you gotta be asking this question um, of your current retirement plan provider, if you have one today. On the left side, you'll see that a typical process, an HR administrator uh, basically logs into the 401k system, pulls down a report that outlines who's made deferral changes, then they log in their, their payroll system and key in those changes. Then they download a report from that payroll provider, upload it to the 401k system, and somebody behind the scenes goes and checks it and reviews it. And good luck if there's any mismatches. You can see that that's a highly manual process that can lead to a lot of errors. And unfortunately, when you're going through the year-end process, um, the year-end process entails reconciling any missed payrolls or bad information. And so it doesn't get caught until sometimes up to a year later. That's obviously less than optimal because it's both time-consuming for you and it's error-prone for everybody. So what we've done at Vestwell and OnPay is we've done a very deep technology integration. Um, OnPay, as you guys know, has some of the most amazing payroll technology we've seen. I've worked with over 100 providers and it's, it's really phenomenal stuff. And so what we do here is we actually automate the deferral changes. So if John Smith makes a change from 5% to 8% in their 401k deferral, it goes automatically from Vestwell to OnPay. And better yet, on top of that, when you need to submit census information or payroll information, it'll automatically go from OnPay to Vestwell. And so what that means is it takes HR out of the equation so that you can do your main job instead of spending time uploading and playing with payroll. So it's better for everybody. So, you know, payroll is one critical case, um, but I'm going to tie it to the broader story on what Vestwell does and how we can help uh, anybody that is looking for a plan today. Um, really, what we pride ourselves on is something that's easier, customizable, and transparent. When we say easier, Integrating that payroll solution is critical uh, to all of our clients, and that's where we have a great partnership with OnPay. Um, but in addition, we want to 
digitize the onboarding process so it's friction free, make it really easy to administer the plan and do it in your best interest, not ours, um, as well as be able to do all the hand holding and uh, user friendly kind of items that are necessary. Um, we'll also make sure things are highly configurable and customizable. Uh, not every company is the same. And so if you're somebody who it's critical and that the business owners want to put away over $60,000 a year through profit sharing, we can work with you on that. If on the other hand, you want a different plan structure, we'll also work with you. And so we've customized the solution to be able to fit the different plan types that are critical to you operating uh, a plan effectively that, to the benefit of you and your employees. Um, and then finally, transparency. Um, as I said earlier, we're, we're not a big fan of, of folks um, hiding fees and conflicts of interest um, be, through their insurance or asset management products. And so we are not selling funds, we're not selling insurance product. Um, we're completely flexible and open to what investments you wanna include in your, in your plan. And what that means is it reduces your risk and liability as a plan sponsor. Um, but what it also means is that your folks can get the best options, whether they want to use Vanguard, Charles Schwab, Franklin Templeton, completely open. And we'll disclose all of our fees and information in plain English. And better yet, from a fee perspective, Vestwell has some of the most competitive fees out there in the market. It's a simple base fee and subscription fee, so no confusing asset charges. And for those of you who want it, we'll also connect you with a financial advisor uh, to work with you on the plan to provide an additional level of education and investment management. So that's how we can help you in a nutshell. And with that, um, I know we're coming up on time. Happy to take any questions and, and talk further for anybody who wants to stay after uh, 2 p.m. Absolutely, and we've got a ton of questions in the chat for you, Josh and Allison. Great presentation for you both. Uh, our first question is, what is the minimum number of employees required to start a 401k plan as, as an employer? Yeah, I can take this one, Erin. So there is no minimum. Um, in fact, the law recognizes that there can even be something called a solo K, as the name implies, just for one person. So if you're a sole proprietor with your own consulting firm, for example, um, again, we can handle that and the law recognizes those as well. So no minimum and no maximum. Sounds good. And a related question, can 401k be extended to part-time employees or is it limited to only full-time employees? Well, I'm so glad you asked Gener because the law is actually changing next year on that exact question. So the law right now is that if you have a part-time employee and the definition under the tax code is someone who works less than 1,000 hours in each plan year, you can, you don't have to, but you can exclude them under your plan if you wanted to. The law is changing um, next year. What the SECURE Act did is they recognize workplace trends with people taking maternity leave or various kinds of leave or shifting and downshifting their career. And so if you have an employee who for three consecutive years works more than 500 hours instead of more than 1,000 hours, um, they can then be admitted um, and become eligible for the plan. So that's what the law permits, and then the plan sponsor can kind of customize their own features, and again, we work with them to make that happen. Perfect, thank you. And we have time to take a few more questions here. What is the process to roll over balances from a previous plan? Josh, why don't you take that one? Uh, sure. Um, yeah, so so rollovers are an important function, and there, there's a couple benefits that you get when you roll a money from your previous 401k. One, um, you can consolidate that so you can view it all under one roof. Number two, there's additional levels of protection um, through the trustee in a 401k that might not be possible in, in an IRA. And then third, if you look at your fees, um, especially in Vestwell's case, where we only charge a subscription fee, um, you might also get some fee benefits by applying that balance to your 401k. And so what we do there is we try to make it an easy process to roll over your money. Um, we'll, we'll take information about your, your prior um, account, and then you'll be able to submit through a digital form 
um, how to roll over the money into Vestwell, and we'll provide you instructions right on the website to make everything really easy and smooth to get the money into the account. Perfect. Thank you so much. And let's take two more questions. And don't worry, if we don't get to your questions today, we will follow up by email. Make sure your questions are answered. Uh, another question, will employees have total oversight where their investments go? In other words, will they have a dashboard to manage their own investment decisions? Um, sure, Erin, I can take that one. Not only will they, they have to. So under ERISA, um, the plan participant is always and must be in total control of their investments. They're the ones that make the investment decisions and our platform provides a dashboard so that in real time, um, it's updated at the end of each business day and it tells you on your screen when it's been updated so that you have that information um, with all of the transactions in your account, whether it's a dividend reinvestment or whatever the case might be. Um, so unlike many providers that just provide a monthly statement or a quarterly statement, because that's what the law requires, we've gone above and beyond that to give the participants multiple different ways to select their investments with information about what the investment is, um, like a glide path description for a target date fund, for example. Um, and then again, just kind of gives them an intuitive platform to have a dashboard report where they can get all that kind of information and insight into their account. All right, thank you so much. And our final question, does Vessel offer any socially responsible investment options for clients? That's actually something that we're exploring right now. Um, until just last week, the Department of Labor never offered any kind of guidance about whether or not ESG funds can be part of a 401k plan. There's always been questions in the law about that. And the Department of Labor just issued a proposed set of guidelines. So it's not even the rule at this time um, around those. So we are definitely exploring that, looking into it. Um, I don't know, Josh, if you want to say anything else so, about yeah. that. Yeah, so, so the answer is yes. Um, so we work with a number of investment managers who can set you up with a investment lineup that has ESG and SRI options and definitely happy um, to take any questions directly on that at sales at bestwell.com and we can walk you exactly through what we what offerings we have. Um, as I said, we're really open on the investment side. So for folks who want that kind of an option, we're, we're flexible to get them there. All right. Well, that sounds good. Um, I appreciate everyone's time today. I appreciate our presenters' time and Vestwell for really breaking down 401k um, for our audience. And again, if we didn't get to your question, we will make sure to get to it by email, but expect uh, a follow-up email. So take a look for your, out in your inbox for that. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks for your time and look forward to connecting.